All right, so we just got this AC Infinity fan in, and uh, first time ordering one of these. I'll tell you what, uh, just by the the kind of the bags and stuff they use, I'm kind of impressed. The same set, sort of material you get when you get an iPhone. Um, it's not these cheap fall apart, fall apart plastic uh, bags that you get um, with some of that uh, stuff that's made in countries that make stuff really cheap. At any rate, uh, looks like it's good quality. Um, we are going to get this ready to insert into into our greenhouse over there. That's a 14 by 28 foot greenhouse and uh, summer is here in Memphis and uh, it gets hot. So uh, we got a intake over there. So we're gonna put the exhaust fan over here on this end and uh, get that hooked up to some solar panels. And uh, at any rate, so we gotta make a frame. And as you can see here, our, uh, our fan is 17 inches across this way and it's 17 inches across this way so I need to make a 17 inch hole and then um, this flange here will will be able to bolt to a frame that I make so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this frame such that it fits around uh, the fan and then once I've got the frame made I'll install it in the greenhouse and then all I have to do is put the fan up and uh, bolt it to the frame. All right, we got a basic frame here made. Had a two by twos, actually some two by fours I ripped in half. And uh, so it fits over that pretty good. Now we're gonna go mount this inside the, inside the greenhouse and then we'll mount the fan to that. All right, we finally got the frame to fit. Got to go cut this uh, plexi, corrugated plexiglass out, uh, and then we'll be able to fit the fan in. Lemon squeeze. It's opening up and everything. Pretty quiet. Maybe it'll 
from there. Should be able to, I think. Yeah, I probably want to put another right there. Okay. little hair or something just so those cords stay off the vent just in case. Yeah. Well, because when it does get hot, you don't you don't want these laying on top of it. No. Right? Right. And I'm going to need it next week. So, you want to put I'm something sure. like said, up here okay. so the cords can not, not be uh, touching it during the winter. Here. It's on the other side of the board. Yeah. I'm gonna put it on the plant, correct? What? The plant, it's got a leaf on it. Okay. The controller has a leaf on it. Okay. So I'm thinking it's for plant. What's the other one? Uh, uh, there are arrows up and down. Oh. No, no, no. Those have nothing to do with these these connections here, huh? Why don't they? Why would they? These are buttons for the control. Oh. This is probably... Actually, that went into the fan. Okay. It's probably just for running two fans, is my guess. Oh, okay. Okay, then, uh, plug it in, see what happens. Uh, I guess I should get out the user's manual. It's working. The leaf is probably the common one. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Uh, well, it is lit up. It's just you can't see it. Oh, the leaf is lit up? Uh, yeah, the, no, I mean the LED is lit up. Oh, okay. It's just hard to see. You can't read it because of the sunshine. So if I blocked it with something, you can kind of read it. Do you want me to mount it up underneath here to where it's pointing no. down? No, it's fine. I'll figure it out. I think we need to just put a piece of plywood here. Alright, so we got a lot of wires here. And I was like, well, where the heck's it plugged in at? This has got just a little protective block. That's our probe. And then that's the jack that plugs into the controller unit. This plugs in here. And then you put your probe wherever wherever you want to sense the temperature at. Alright, so we're going to put it in the middle of the greenhouse. Uh, I don't know if you want it higher than that or you want it there at the rafter level. What do you think? If you want it higher, I'd put it in the middle of that beam there or something. We'll have to get a little step stool ladder. Put an eye hook on it. All right, so we just installed a little piece of a one eighth inch plywood on top of this to act as a visor. And you can see now you can see it has numbers and stuff on it. And uh, you can push buttons and things change. Yay!